Hi, this is Brian Katzung with KCSG Power Tools for Kartra at kpowertools.com. If you've uh, ever been to the Kartra plan pricing page, you've probably seen their tabbed content system where you can switch between monthly and annual pricing plans. So the question has come up from time to time, how can I create my own tabbed content using the Kartra page builder? because the Kartra one is done with one-off custom coding, and oftentimes you don't want to have that, you want to have a more general system. And so in this video, I'll show a, a system that I've created that uses um, special uh, link URLs and a little bit of custom code. So you can pretty much um, have any kind of design that you want to build in the page builder, and it will, it will switch between um, different uh, hidden sections, much the way that uh, Kartra device hiding works and will show different uh, page sections for different devices. This system allows you to have special button links to control which parts of the page are, dis are shown or hidden. Um, it's a little bit involved, but I'll walk you through the steps. There are about six steps with a few sub steps and I'll walk you through. So here's what the page builder page looks like. You need to have at least one section with your buttons or at least links. I've created multiple sections here because I want to reflect the state not only in my content um, with these placeholders for where the, the plans, the, the building plans would be or whatever other content you want to have. I want to reflect the state in the buttons. So when I'm showing the monthly plan, I want this uh, kind of light colored button and I want to ha highlight the, the annual plan button. When I'm showing the annual plans, I want to swap that and I want to show um, a grayed out annual button and a, a highlight a blue monthly button so that when people, people get feedback, we're in the monthly plans now or we're in the annual plans so we get that visual feedback. So the first step is to create one or more sets of buttons to switch between tabs and each group of buttons needs to be in, in its own section. So for the when I'm in the showing the monthly plans and offering to switch to annual that's one section then I have another section for when I'm in showing the annual plans and are offering to switch to monthly. And then in step two, you create your tabbed content. Each of those will be in a section. You could potentially have multiple sections if you want, but for this example, I'm trying to, to keep it as simple as possible. It's already got a fair number of steps, but you would create separate sections for each of the content that you wanna be able to tab through with your buttons. You'll also need to have a, a dedicated tag that is never assigned to any leads. And that is gonna be used to um, initially hide the sections that we don't want to display. So initially when I land on this page, I want it to show the the buttons that reflect that I'm showing the monthly plans. So I want the light colored monthly, the brightly colored annual, and I want the monthly content. So that's gonna mean that I'm showing sections one and three and hiding sections two and four. So to do that, I'm gonna come into the settings for the section. And I'm gonna look at the, the hiding sessions here. And I'm going to say, Dis display those initially hidden sections only to those subscribed to a tag unassigned. Now the goal, the intent here is no one will ever be assigned that tag unassigned. Hence, when they come to this page, they won't see these, the, the second or fourth sections because they're only supposed to be shown to someone who's assigned the tag unassigned and no one has ever assigned that tag. So that's what causes those two sections to initially be hidden on this page. Then we're going to create special links that work with a little bit of special code so that when you click on the other button, 
it tells it to hide the sections that we're showing before. So when we click on this button, we're going to hide this section and this section and show the other two. So we'll see the swapped button section and the annual plan section. So in order to configure the links for these buttons, we have to do a little bit of, of homework here. And we need to get the section IDs. Kartra assigns a section ID to each one of these sections. And we're going to use that to control their display. So there are a couple of different ways to get the section IDs. One is to add section jump to section buttons. And these are just buttons. Let me open this. Where I've, where I've created a button and I've set the link to be scroll to a particular section in this page and then each one of these is set to jump to a, one of the four different sections. And when you do that, you can write or um, I think it's control click on Mac. You can, um, as you can see, there's, there's a URL down here. We need the part after the pound sign. You can click on copy link address and if you put that into a text editor and copy that this part right here is the section ID so um, we'll also need the published page URL this is the editing page URL so you can't use this part but we need this part for each of the four sections that are being used here I've already gone through and done this um, for this particular exercise. So here are the section IDs for my first four sections. So this is section one, two, three, and four. So here are my section IDs. We're going to want them in pairs because we're going to show and hide one and three together and show and hide two and four together. So I've just, I've just grouped those um, as one and three and two and four. So now we have to construct and assign our special hide and show URLs. Um, so for these buttons, the, for the monthly plans, we are going to hide two and four and show one and three. So I also have to take the, um, the published page URL because Kartra won't let us enter a button URL that is just the hash part of the link, we have to create a full URL. So we're gonna, we're going to, in order to have that, we're gonna paste the published page URL in front of the, the part, oops, the part that's, oops, the part that's going to do the hiding and showing of the sections. So just prepend the page URL and then pound side hide, and then the sections that we're, we want to hide. So for the first buttons, we're going to hide two and four. So that's these, these uh, section IDs here separated by commas. So we're going to hide those sections and we're going to show the other sections. And then for these other buttons, we're just going to swap what's hidden and what's shown. The pound hide part always comes first. So the hide list comes before the show list. So for the other buttons, we're going to have the same thing, but we're just going to swap this first part with this second part. So those are the two URLs. So now when you go into your buttons, the links for these buttons are going to be linked to another page. You're going to choose use external custom URL, and then you're going to paste for the, for the monthly buttons, you're going to paste our hide two and four show one and three link. So that'll be this URL. We'll go in for these two buttons and we'll do the same thing for these two buttons, but we'll set this link to the second link for those buttons. And the last part is you need to copy the um, custom code that supports these custom links. I'll um, include a link to my paste bin in the description for this video on YouTube. But you can come down here to where it says raw paste data. Click on that to copy all of the code. Then in the page builder for settings, go to tracking code, go into the footer section, 
and then paste your code in there and click apply and then go ahead and publish your page again you'll have you'll have to publish it once um, to get the the published page URL um, but after you've made the changes and incorporated all of these steps then you can publish again live and then your page will be ready to go